hello so here we are going to discuss about the child filter category so first of all what is a child over here if we look at this example this is a div right so this is a complete element which has some other elements inside it so this complete ol is a child of this div now if we talk about this ol these list items are child of this fine so if we talk about child of div ol is the child and ol we talk about then list items are the child element so direct elements which are there independent elements like this or direct elements they are referred as child elements fine so we are going to talk about the first child and last child selector what is this let's have a look at it so we have ordered list over here in this example two ordered lists are there and as usual we have our buttons over here and we have associated it with the same example so on click of first button we are going to select the first child so the selector is basically something like this the first child and last child right this is the name of the selector with the colon and there are variations nth child selector and last child selector so like first child the variation of first child is nth child and last child is nth last child so first of all let's have a look at what the first child does okay so here this is our script part fine now here when we'll click on the button we will take the action now the selector that we are saying is that we are looking for li child elements li element which is a child but we are also filtering it out using the filter which is the first child so what it is going to do is it is going to look for list item which is the first child in a given parent element fine it should be the first child and here also we have this list item this is the last child so in a given parent where multiple of these list items are coming or this element is coming it could be any one when multiple of these are coming the first and the last will be selected so let's see the output for this so this is the first and last child selector so when i click on this the first list item from the given ordered list is selected both of them fine and if we click on this the last child element is selected fine now it is not that because i said li then automatically it is going for the list item it's not like that it is looking for a list item in a given parent fine so it could be any kind of tag that should be the first child in a given location fine so that particular first child will be selected fine so let's see a variation like in this particular one if we make let's say span and span and let's just put something over here and let's see now what happens is when i click on the first child you can see in this list since list item is not the direct first child now because i have entered a invalid value invalid or value in terms of ordered list of course it is invalid but now the list item does not remains the first child in a given area similarly you could be selecting or searching for any one of them but that element should be the first child or the last child fine amongst the given siblings siblings are these elements which are there within the given parent so that's the first child last child demo and the variation for this is nth child or nth last child selector where you can give the values like a number which directly selects a particular specific child or even or xn now let's have a look at it so nth child selector the variation so we will use this now over here and here instead of first child we are going to say nth child and if i say one this is as good as saying the first child okay so let's reload this page and click on this sorry my mistake i have put two colons over here okay let's reload this page and this is going to select the first one 
right this first elements are getting selected now if you make it two you will notice the second element getting selected fine similarly you could say odd so in that case all odd elements will be selected and if you say even even will be selected and so on now other variation is like if you say 2n so what exactly is 2n 2n means multiple you can say multiple of two so 2 4 6 8 10 so this is this will give you an effect of even lines but if you want to see a variation you can say 3 so 3 if you give it will be 3 6 9 and so on so over here when i click on this it is going to select the third sixth here we don't have any sixth element so it selects the third so here it is kind of a equation you are giving in multiples of that number okay so that is the variation so if you change it to the other one where nth last child selector we can work upon that also right nth last child like if i say nth last child 2 let's see what happens in this case reload this and here so nth last child 2 means the second last child is getting selected so this is basically the variations of first child last child nth child and nth last child selectors over here okay okay so the next variation is we are going to see is first of type selector and last of type selector now this if we see the example directly over here might look similar so this is the first of type and last of type that means we are again looking for an element and here in the example i have dibs with spans inside it and here is another div with spans now these are the child elements and here in this div if you look at this we have a b bold tag that's also a child element of this div now if it would had been the first child last child then in this case if you would had been looking for span fine first child it would not work because this is not the direct first child fine so when you say first child so first child is actually this so span is not the first child but when we use our first of type fine like if i update it over here in my comments also first of type or this should have been last of type last of type fine so let's have a look at it what happens fine now when we are looking for the first of type or last of type it does not consider it as a direct child element it is basically looking for a span in a given element like inside div we have multiple spans here also in div we have multiple spans it will even look from the body onwards if it finds a span in the body area or whatever you are searching starting from the body area so if it finds a particular span first of type means you can say first occurrence of span irrespective of if there were other child elements in a given parent within a given parent so when we run this program and when i click first of type so you will see in the first div it has selected apple in the first div we don't have any other child element apart from span which is okay so this looks similar to select the first child but here it is looking for the first of type now the confusion can be cleared from this point where you can see in the next div i have a child element first child element is actually beverages fine and second child element is span now here we are looking first of type span so which is this so it will select t over here similarly it is going to work for the last of type irrespective of if there were multiple elements after this fine it will still select the last of type occurrence so if there is no span going to occur within this div then it will select that particular span but now if suppose this would have been the first child if we change this to first child what is going to happen is this span gets selected but this t 
this pan which says T is not going to be selected. Let's see. Fine, you can see apple is getting selected, T is not getting selected because it's not the direct child over here. So that is your first of type and last of type. This also has the similar variation nth of type, just like we discussed with the child selector nth of last type where you can have the values given over here and you can work with them. Okay, now let's move on to the other two remaining child selectors. Now the remaining two child selectors are only child, fine, the only child and only type here. So the only child selector selects all elements that are the only child. So even bold, underline, italics, everything will be considered. And only of type select all elements that have no siblings with the same elements. So only child means there should be only one single element in that parent. Fine. And only of type is a variation where there can be multiple siblings. But the one you are selecting or one you are looking for, that should be occurring only once. So let's have a look at the example. So what I have here is in this div we have multiple spans as usual and here in this div we have only one single span and in this div we have bold, span and multiple bolds. So now when we look for only child then should be the only child that means we are not looking for any other type so in our example what we have done here is again let me update this for only child even in my comment and here only of type in my comment right now only child span only child so span only child is here only because here multiple spans are there here also there are multiple elements so it's not the only child so only child means only single element should be there so here when we click for only child demo you can see here it selects only this one fine now when we say only of type span only of type let's reload this so only of type it's not going to work here because span is coming multiple times it should work for this div because there is a span only of type and here also there is a span only of type. So basically the one which we are looking for in only of type should not occur multiple times in a given parent. So let's try this and here you can see as we considered only of type is getting selected over here. So that is your only child selector and only of type selector. So that's a basic brief overview of different kind of child selectors that are there. We'll continue with the remaining later on or other kind of filters we are going to see in upcoming videos.